morning students today we are going to solve a question on geometry uh, i'll just narrate the question to you uh, a b c d is a isosceles trapezium which is inscribed in a circle a b a d is the base of the trapezium as well as the diameter of the semicircle whose length is 8 and the equal sides are 2 each you need to find the value of b c so we'll be solving this question by three method uh, let us start the easiest one which you all will understand if this is the center of the circle which i have named o if i connect ob so this comes this becomes the radius of the circle now since the diameter is 4 8 therefore radius becomes 4 hence ob is 4 and oa is 4 now if i drop a perpendicular from b on AO and let us name it E then we can use Pythagoras theorem and get the value of A if we get the value of A exactly similarly we can get the we can drop a problem from C and let us name it F to A will be equal to DF since it is an isosceles trapezium let us first find a now if this is h using Pythagoras theorem 2 square is equal to h square plus a square simple Pythagoras theorem now in this triangle let us again apply Pythagoras theorem so 4 square is equal to again h square plus oa minus a e ka whole square and i know oa oa is how much 4 so substituting 4 here 4 minus a e ka whole square now if i solve these two equation i get the value of h as 1 by 2 I get the value as 1 by 2. Now this is 1 by 2. So FD would be also equal to 1 by 2. Hence EF is equal to 7. Now since EF is 7, therefore BC is also equal to 7. Hence the answer comes out to be BC is equal to 7. So this was the first method. Now let us think of a different method. Now here let us connect AC now we know that angle the semicircle is 90 degree hence this becomes 90 degree now we can again apply Pythagoras theorem here to find out the length of AC now AC would come out to be root 60 now what is area of triangle area of triangle ACD area of triangle ACD would be equal to would be equal to half into 2 into root 60 now we can also equate the same area by taking AD as the base then the area is again equal to the same triangle ACD is equal to we need to drop a perpendicular on the base let us assume it to be h so half into ad which is 8 into h fine solving these two we get h is equal to root 60 by 4 root 60 by 4 now i got h i know 2 therefore i can find the length of ed from here using Pythagoras from again ed comes out to be 1 by 2 now this is 1 by 2 and again this is 1 by 2 therefore this is 7 hence bc is 7 therefore the value of bc comes out to be 7 now this was the second method now we can also have we can also solve this question by one more method now which requires a memorization of a theorem now 
again let a b c d be the isolated trapezium this is 8 this is 2 and this is 2 fine we need to find the length of b c now there is a concept a theorem which says in any cyclic collateral the product of the diagonal is equal to sum of product of opposite side it means you join the two diagonals ac and bd now product of the two diagonal ac into bd is equal to sum of product of opposite side that means bc into ad bc into ad plus ab into cd ab into cd now putting the values now we know ac is root 60 the bd is also root 60 because as well as trapezium root 60 into root 60 is equal to bc we need to find the value ad is 8 plus ab is 2 and cd is 2 the 2 into 2 is 4 now solving this we get bc is equal to 7 centimeter hence the length of bc is 7 therefore if you know this formula well enough otherwise we have already solved the same question by two different methods earlier thank you students